Hello, hello, Kalu Kale. How are we doing today? And of course, we should bring out Manly. Of course, we have our, uh, the only Manly that matters when we're uh, talking about fate. Say hello to Momoji Manly, of course, because we are 4TC Tarded here. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, everyone. It's a little bit late on a Sunday. Uh, I had nothing better to do today, so, uh, and I rolled on the magic wheel. And the magic wheel said that I should uh, work on fate. One, what is fate, though? Well, this is a document called Fate Random Dance. Uh, fate Random Dance is a... I don't even know what you would call it. A weird primer on how to run a fate TTRPG. Uh, it's... I wrote this... Probably back in 2018. Probably even further back, to be honest. About, yeah, about 2018, about mid 2018 ish. Uh, I wrote this as kind of a thing because for a while there, I think it was when UBW, uh, Unlimited Blade Works, had just come out, if I remember correctly, and everyone was trying to make a fate game. There was, like, a, th a daily thread, effectively, of how do we make a Fate RPG. I want to make a Fate TTRPG, Fate TTRPG, Fate TTRPG. Uh, so what I did was I sat down and said, okay, I'm just going to write a primer for people. Because people were trying to, like, adapt, like, 5e to it. And it was just like, well, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, right? I just play a level one character as my master and level five character. And it was, it was rough. It was, it was, it was rough, rough time. <laughs> oh, I'm a sneezy boy. Snoozing. Uh, as you kind of see, this is mostly like a little bit of a do everything kind of situation. Like, how do we, how do we do this? How do we introduce it? 
Yeah, there we go. And infinite autism strikes again. Uh, talk about the bane, bare minimum of setting details. Uh, and you look know, like, all right, the most, all right, the basics. Fate lore is weird. Here's the, here's the thing. Well, you gotta, anytime you talk about fate lore, you always have to have a few preface points to it. Uh, most notably of when you're talking, what kind of fate lore you're talking about, and with those fate lore, what are you actually referencing, if that makes sense? Uh, also, I have Cafe de Toho in the background, so if you have any questions what the background music is. Uh, mostly because it's very messy, m almost in... Uh, mostly entirely due to uh, Fate Grand Order making things a clusterfuck. Uh, yeah, as you kind of see, I kind of talk about like, what, you know, how do you actually play this game? These are the most, you know, it's like, hey, oh, we want to run Masters only. We want to run Masters and Servants. We want to run a Grand Order campaign even. It's a lot. It is uh, complicated, to say the least. And I even kind of say down here, there really isn't a good option. And that's kind of the truth of the matter, is that there really is not a good option when you're playing one of these games. Mostly due to the fact that Fate is, uh... How do I want to word this? Fate is a series about very specific characters doing very specific things. You want those, you know, and what's going to happen is those very specific characters doing very specific things make things very, very complicated in a variety of situations. How do we do this? Simple, like, actionable, actionable and wrong answers, Beza, Mutants and Masterminds, or GURPS. See, my, uh, my suggestions down here, don't look at that. Uh, my, my suggestions down here were Besom, pick your poison in addition, but there's a reason you'll have to make two characters, of course. Uh, OVA, Mutants and Masterminds, uh, PL14 versus PL8. Uh, Hero Quest, yes, I actually cited Hero Quest would be a good option, because Hero Quest is actually very adaptable, and GURPS. Uh, I legitimately do cite GURPS, because you have to. Because that is arguably a way to do things. Is uh, just make GURPS characters. Because GURPS are infinitely scalable characters. That is a very important thing to note. Is that they are infinitely scalable characters. <laughs> Hero Quest is really interesting actually. I just know to no breakable system and I match your list. Yeah. Unironically. The the issue with fate. And I'm gonna add a couple others to that, by the way. This music's getting a little loud. I need something lighter. Put on my usual music. Uh one of the big things about any kind of system you want to do for fate is that any fate game you make is going to be is going to be incorrect because fate is a series about how to bullshit. Unironically, that is an entire game about it. It is a game of how to bullshit the situation. And everyone's bullshit. And it's how do you out bullshit other people's bullshit. Yeah, it's like, yeah, 90 combat maneuvers and stuff. But like, it's hard to do masters only because masters don't normally fight, except when they are an exception. That's a big thing, is there's a lot of, except if they are a exception. Which is uh, far more common than anything. And then you end up with things like, um, and again, you end up with exceptions to who masters are. Uh, I can never remember her name, I think it's Reyna. Uh, she is from Fate um, Apocrypha. Uh, and in Fate Apocrypha, she is not even really a master. She is just a prostitute that Jack the Ripper likes and is her, technically, Jack the Ripper, her master. 
Uh, she cannot sustain Jack the Ripper, though, so Jack the Ripper has to kill people and eat their fucking souls. This is a canon thing that is a thing and that happens, and that is just how she operates. That's just something you have to think about. I'm like, oh, all right. But of course. <laughs> Obviously, that is a... Uh... Like, and then you start getting into really esoteric magic system. It's very interesting and also very, very autistic. Uh, so, let's see. Okay, well, let's just start off. Mm, all right, oh. Because mm. it's a... Mm. I'll see massive clusterfuck uh, Massive clusterfuck That will be almost impossible to cover In a page or two Sounds like a good show in series Like Jojo or One Piece Where you have to, the one thing And any growth is figuring out how to you know, Game your one thing Yeah It really is It is a game about finding your one thing now that you mention it, here's the funny thing. Now that you mention it, I have an idea. I don't like that idea of Slack Club, but why did you do this to me? You have put a cursed thought in my mind. But, it is. And the thing is, even if you do look at, like, we'll, we'll say, like, Fate Zero, for example. Here's Fate Zero. Everyone likes Fate Zero. Here's Saber. Let's look at Saber, everyone. Saber wins every single fight in Fate Zero. Every single fight, she wins immediately, pretty much, if she is allowed to fight fair. You want to know why? Because Fate Saber is King Arthur in the Fate series. Saber is broke as shit. She pretty much has an instant win delete button. Her sword is fucking invisible, and she has the best combat stats effectively available. No matter what you do, she is going to win. But Notepad, I hear you say, why does she lose? In, why doesn't she do too well in Fate Zero? Because somebody else, pretty much the first person she fights, has the instant, I'm going to immediately guarantee hit you and cripple you maneuver. And that still doesn't take her out. Yeah, I remember that. It still doesn't take her out. But the fact that he can do that. He can't win on a one-on-one -on -one fight, so what he does is do <laughs> he pulls bullshit. And that's the funniest part. He pulls absolute bullshit, because Lancer in Fate Zero is, a is the master of complete horseshit. And, but how do, how do we beat the master of complete horseshit? By completing our own complete horseshit. <laughs> it, is, it is a bunch of how do we out bullshit one another fights. With the idea being if you fight fair, you lose to Saber. Any Saber is usually going to be the absolute strongest in, the, in, the, uh, in a Holy Grail War. They're going to be the absolute strongest. This is a good thing and this is a bad thing. Good thing, you automatically know they are going to be probably the strongest. Bad news, they are the absolute strongest enemy in, in the thing, but they usually don't have that great of a power. They, they don't really have that much bullshit. Mostly when you end up with, like, Fate Stay Night, for example, uh, with, like, Medea. You know, Medea. Aw, oh, man, what's Medea's thing? Ah, uh, you know... Medea has a literal noble phantasm. Her special superpower is called Rule Breaker. Do you know what Rule Breaker does? You're right. You're right. It breaks the rules. She has a inbuilt rule break. And she does that. Repeatedly. <laughs> 
<laughs> Medea is horseshit in Fate Stay Night, by the way. I want you to remember that. Medea is literally three layers of bullshit. And it's hilarious because she is three layers of bullshit. Her first bullshit, she kills her master. This is her master. She kills her. She kills him. She uh, He dies before anything actually starts. She is without a master for a time. She is dying. She makes a fucking contract with this dude. Second level of bullshit. Fake assassin. She summons her own servant. Yeah. She summons her own servant to fight. Huh? That's not supposed to happen. Because remember, she summons a fake assassin. When there is only one assassin. Yep. Remember that, kids. In the original Fate Stay Night world, there is only one real assassin. It's Hassan. It is, and it's Hassan. Otherwise known as the entirety of the Hashashi, the Hashashin. That, that is literally, that's canon, by the way. That's a thing. That there is only, you can only summon one assassin. And it's the entirety of the Hashashin, uh, the assassin order. That is all you can, that is all that occurs. That you summon the entirety of it. She summons a fake copy, breaking the rules on a double or nothing way. Oh. Okay, that's a double or nothing bullshit maneuver. And on top of all of this, on top of all of this bullshit, she has Rule Breaker. She has the Omega Bullshit Knife. And the what I know what the absolute worst part is, she gets fucking nay-nayed. Like every single route. Every single route she is in, she gets fucking nay-nayed. The only time she actually does well is when she uses her bullshit technique early. <laughs> but a majority of the time, she just fucking dies. And there is it's like fate clusterfuck. Literally, that is the summation of how it works. Uh, also, Saber is the strongest, means everyone else declares alliances against you. Yeah, effectively. Saber is the ultimate, is the strongest servant and is pretty much say, I am going to win. There's always the problem with Saber. Saber is always going to win if no bullshit is employed. However, there is always bullshit being employed. <laughs> and Saber doesn't do well against bullshit. That, that it's the ultimate counter card being like, haha, I... Yeah, and that's the funny thing, with legitimately any servant. All of them have their own special bullshit technique or their own bullshit move that fucks with everything. And no one actually does, no one actually does the Holy Grail War correctly. Not a single person across both instances that we've witnessed it. Pretty much every instance that we've witnessed it. Literally, every single instance that we've witnessed a Holy Grail war, someone is pulling bullshit. Someone is like, nuh uh. <laughs> nuh uh, I'm allowed to do this. Nuh uh, I'm allowed to do this. Nuh uh. It's bullshit. It's complete horseshit. It, it, and again, people make fun of Fortissimo having this shit go on. People make fun of Fortissimo, of Fortissimo being, uh, like, being 95% exception clauses and, like, oh, by the way, my power lets me do this, uh-uh, no, my power lets me do this, no, uh my power lets me do this. People make fun of this visual novel for it, but it learned from, <laughs> from fate. <laughs> Remember that. Awesome. Hi, Ryuchi. Hi, Ryuchi. My perpetual moron. <laughs> Truly, he is our guy. Yeah, every, everyone has a bullshit super technique, and that's half the fun. 
Uh, so let's see. Uh, it's a master cluster that will be impossible to cover in a page or two. Mm. It's just uh, simple. A master mm, using a catalyst, catalyst connected to them in some, to, uh, let's see, a catalyst connected them in some way. Blind summoning is possible, but it's very random and mm, unreliable. The catalyst, the catalyst, the catalyst can be just about anything. Can you be just about anything vaguely, uh, vaguely, if I can find type of uh, vaguely related to the mm, to uh, can the kettle can be just about anything vaguely related to the serving but the closer mm, 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 the closer the easier it is to highlight their ability let's take uh mm, Let's take, let's take Saber. Let's take Artoria Pendragon. Pendragon or Saber. Or Artoria Pendragon or Saber. Mm. She is, she is summoned. She is summoned using, she is summoned using Avalon. The Sheath of Excalibur. The sheath of Excalibur and a holy artifact, holy artifact by itself. Uh, she, the, she summoned with the sheath of Excalibur and a holy artifact by itself. However, 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 if the if a if a fragment of the holy lance was if fragment of the holy lance was used to summon summon uh, summon Artoria Pendragon. There is a much more, much more likely, likely outcome of, actually, however, if a fragment of the round table was used, however, a fragment of the round table was used to, sum, to act as a summon, act as a summon, technically, technically any member of the round table, any member of the round table, could potentially could potentially answer the call could potentially answer the call um there is there is of course exception clause exceptions to this exceptions to uh, exceptions to this especially especially when two or more mm, competing catalysts are by one another. by one another. Let's take. Let's take. Let's take. Rin. Let's take the summoning. The summoning of Archer. Of Archer. Of Archer in. It's day and night. Rin is attempting. Is attempting to summon bullshit. Is attempting to summon bullshit. <laughs> is summon. Is attempting to summon a. Mm, Powerful servant, if I remember correctly, she is. Who is she trying to summon? She's trying to summon, um. Mm. I think she's trying to summon King Arthur, if I remember correctly. Yeah, someone wanted to summon a saber. Mm. Yeah, someone's saber. Uh, but is it our? Yeah. Uh, Rin is attempting someone a powerful servant. Uh, let's see, Rin is attempting someone a powerful servant. A uh, powerful, a uh, a powerful servant. But her connection, but her connection to. Mm. Shiro. And her, her, um, uh, let's see, connections hero and her um, sword based catalyst, 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 summit, the uh, summon, Emia, Emia, instead. Mm. I should, uh, I 
I'm going to put this giant note here. If you do get... This thing is 20 years old. I'm going to spoil some shit. <laughs> like... Mm. Mm. Mmm, mm, they slash franchise. Mmm. -hmm. Remember, Fate's Day Night's 20 years old. That's something you always have to remember. Uh, that's something. Stead. Tangentially related. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Summon Emia instead. Actually, Rin's pendant overrode her store, her sword catalyst as well. Exactly, because that's the, that's the thing. It's like, hey, the fact that you have this pendant and the fact that you also have this, you know, your your connection to Shiro, effectively means, hey, guess what? You're gonna summon Emiya. Uh, because, but here's the here's the fucking stupid thing, Sterner. I have to say it like this because there are more Emiya. There's more. It's not just Archer. I gotta remember that. There's more than just Archer. Uh-uh-uh. Because there's also Emiya Halter? Uh, like, let me see if I can remember. It's, uh... Yeah, there's... There was... <laughs> if we're being really awful about things... Like, fucking Shiro shows up a bunch. Like, there's the, sa there's the assassin variant of him that wouldn't technically be it. It's Shiro Alter, which is also a completely different version of him. Oh, God, where was the one that was really fucking stupid? Um, Shiro is also technically a Saber variant. What is, uh, God, what is he? He is Muramasa. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> Shiro becomes Muramasa. Yeah, uh, because but he's not a real one because he's a pseudo servant. <laughs> yeah, remember pseudo servants? I fucking don't. This is this is the bullshit. Yeah, the assassin. Yeah, assassin Emiya is his dad. You know, his dad. But <laughs> also him. It's fate is dumb. Fate is stupid. Remember that. Like fate is really, really silly. Mm, let's see. Mm. Mm. Mm, all right, servant has been. All right, the servant has been summoned. Uh, let's see, the world it's uh, the. Um, mm. Hello, phone. What's poppin', phone? I am going to get some tea. I will be back in one second. Don't burn down the house, everyone.
Youch! Hello, everyone. Uh, I bought my mom tea today. And she made tea. Uh, and then she wanted to talk. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> so, let's see. I'm getting pinged. Who's pinging me? Why are you pinging me? Going to be cringe? Yeah, Taurus. Let's see. World of Assigned servant a class to a servant. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the world itself assigns a class to serve in, representing. Mm, representing a part of their abilities and heroic and heroic legacy. For example, uh, for example, for example, Saber, uh, Artoria, Artoria Pendragon. Artoria Pendragon slash slash fate zero fate zero fate fate stay fate stay night fate stay night fate stay night fate fucking everything uh is going uh will mm. you know we can do for example Artoria Pendragon Artoria Pendragon Victoria Pendragon, Fate Zero, Fate Zero, Knife, Will, uh, fits, uh, fits entirely within, 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 be, uh, fits entirely. Let's see, Artoria, uh, mm, almost always be a, be a saber or a lancer, a lancer class. Exception, exception clauses, exception clauses abound, exception clauses abound. Mm. I will almost always be a saver or a lancer class. However, uh, however, Hercules, however, Hercules is debated. Uh, actually, Hercules, fate stay night, mm. fate stay night, and I think fate Fate Strange Fake he's in. I think Hercules Hercules Fate Strange Fake. I know he's in Fate Strange. He's Yeah, there we go. Yes, there we go. He is technically this is Hercules in Strange Fake. Because strange fake is weird. <laughs> Again, if this is one of those like side things where you don't think about it too hard, but then you look at it, you're like strange fake is bizarre because there's actually two wars going on simultaneously. That's the joke with strange fake. There's the real war and the fake war going on simultaneously. And there's double the amount of servants, except some are fake servants and some are real servants. Da 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 da! Everybody, we're we're we're, we're it's fucking clowny hours. Mm. Let's see, so Hercules, Fate Stay Night, Fate Strange Fake. Mm. Uh, however, Hercules is debated is debated to be to be almost every class possible, every class possible except 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 caster. Except maybe, maybe caster. Uh, as eat, uh, as each would, each would represent a small part, a small part of his legacy. Well, let's see, a small part of his legend. Classes, uh, I should say, classes. Mm, classes are. Mm, say. As an important, as an important, as an important note, classes have a sense of humor. Have a sen have a sense of humor. That is, that is to say, that is to say, have a sense of humor. Mm. Uh, let's see, an important note, the world has a sense of humor. Mm, I should say capital the world because that's literally what it is the world uh, a little sense of humor mm. 
Let's see. Taking more as guidelines and rough ones at that. With certain, uh, with certain. Mm. No, that doesn't quite seem right. Let's see. The certain heroic spirits falling into a class doesn't quite seem right unless interpreted, uh, interpreted metaphorically. Metaphorically, uh, metaphorically. Mm. See, uh, unless interpreted metaphorically, which in the case of mm, mm, mm. Uh, let's see, uh, archers uh, find mm, mm, mm. Go is an archer class, but fights primarily with melee due to his swords. But he is a transit. But he is tra he is transitory and distant people. Uh, uh, mm, or are just weird. <laughs> or are just weird. Let me see what was the one that I thought was just fucking bizarre. And I'm like, oh, it's like, yeah, all right, that makes sense. It, like this doesn't make any sense. Uh. Mm, let's see if I Yeah, Elizabeth Barathry is mm. Mm. So, Why? Because she is Yeah, welcome to Elizabeth Bathory. Yeah, don't think about it too hard. This is one of those ones where you look at you're like, yeah, don't think about this that actually hard. Some of them, some of them can get very, some of them can get very esoteric. I've realized over time, mostly when you start dealing with things like Shielder, you know, Shielder. Yeah, that fucking, there's, it's dumb. Everything is dumb. Apparently there's also a new one out, which also covers things to be a bit strange. Ah, oh, God, where was the one that was just like, you're, you're, you're yanking my chain here. Uh, oh yeah, Francis, Francis Drake. There we go. That's the other. Actually, no, we'll do, uh, or just weird. Uh, Francis Drake is writer. There we go. <laughs> it's one of those things where you look at it, you're like, that's, hey, that's not quite in the spirit of it. However, uh, we have to kind of just accept the fact that, yes, here is a... Here is a, cl a class that is, hey, she, <laughs> Francis Drake is a writer because she has a boat. Wait, is that actually why he's an archer? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Quite literally, Shiro, is, uh, Emiya is an archer because one, he has a bow and two, he can cover, he is one of those characters who can technically cover most classes. He is a person who can cover quite a few different classes, but he is transitory and he is distant from other people. Therefore, he is an archer. <laughs> he does have a bow and he can fire it. But if you notice, he doesn't fire arrows. He fires swords at people. Because he's... <laughs> uh, Shiro in theory, or Emiya, if you want to be really specific. Emiya could be an assassin an archer, saber, berserker, which I should put a note about berserker in there. Uh, in theory, you could, in theory, make him lancer. In theory, make him a lancer. 
Uh, and those are his main classes. You can, you, you can, uh, you can, uh, do, do some other things with that. Like it's, it's actually kind of interesting to debate on like who could be what, because it's such a open concept that you can make arguments for a lot of different things. Uh, actually what I should say, um, uh, mm, no. Nah. Everyone can be Berserker. Due to it being a method of summoning, or Let's see, everyone can be Berserker, everyone can be the Berserker class due to it being a method of summoning, rather. Mm. There we go. So. Now. Man, I'm hearing a lot about fate today. I went to, I'll have you all know, I went to an anime convention today. Yeah, I want to talk about going to an anime convention. Uh, I went to an anime convention today. Uh, I was very disappointed with it. And I know anime has fallen for three reasons. I saw no Zero Two. I saw no Fate. And I only saw one Fumo. One fucking Fumo at this anime convention. It was over. And it wasn't, and the worst part was, it wasn't even being sold. It was on top of a car. That was a Tuhu branded car. Yeah, because they have a car show in there on the anime convention, and I like the anime. Con I like the cars. I think they're fun. Yeah, one Fumo. Technically two Fumos, but there was a Fumo on top of the car and a giant Fumo driving the car. Fumo turn. Yeah. What was there then? It was a lot of very safe anime. That's a big thing. It was all the really kind of popular stuff. It's My Hero Academia's. It's all, it was very safe. There was nothing that was potentially like outside of like the cultural zeitgeist of popular anime. A lot of Spy X family. A lot of Spy X family. Uh, there was um, a lot of My Hero Academia, obviously. Always is, always will be. There was a lot of fairy tale for some reason. Uh, Jaeger, if you're in here, did fairy tale get something new? I don't know, but there was a weird amount of fairy tale. Uh, but yeah, nothing actually there. There was like a two, there was one place selling manga, actually one place, and they had nothing interesting. I was very disappointed. It, it was like the entire th place was like, this is really dull and kind of boring. And like to give you an idea, I want to I want to draw this out. I want I want to draw this out for you of what this was. So picture, imagine with me. So you're gonna get some expert notepad drawing today. So here is the convention hall. There's. Effectively, two. I'm kind of putting two doors right here. It was a. It's a much larger room. This is not the scale. So, this into there was kind of like there was also this flea market over here. I was a, I was separated off. This was like a really cramped ass fee, like flea market. So, to give you an idea, cars were right here. There was a set of cars here and a set of cars here. This is where all of, like, the... There's a bunch of VAs there. And I'm like, oh, I care about none of these VAs. Like, they took up a lot of space. But this entire section over here... Actually, like, even like this... We're like clothes. 
And I don't mean like, oh, cool t-shirts. Oh, like, oh no, A Thousand Year Quest, the second sequel series, got an anime. That's awful. Uh, here's the thing. Like, there was this entire thing of clothes. Now, mind you, this wasn't like a t-shirt, like for like normal people. No, this was like women's clothing like fancy like women's clothing brands and they were trying to like sell you like nice dresses and stuff like these were I, you could argue that they were like cosplay stuff but they weren't really cosplay stuff that's the thing they weren't really like cosplay stuff if that makes sense these were just like women's fashion you know w w women's fashion clothes and I was like that's Weird to be here. Not a single woman here can fit into these. I'm like, all right. That took up a huge amount of space. But here's the catch. This entire section was cats. There was an entire section of a, like a like a cat rescue. There were little kittens. Little baby kitties everywhere. I didn't get to hold any of the little kitties because there was a line going out the fucking door, but there were little kitties. And I was like, those are cute. Uh, all of this was like promo stuff for other cons. And everything in here was like the remainder of like actual booths and stuff. But here's the secret. There were a lot of booths, but it felt like there was very few unique booths. Like, there was, like, a little chocolate stand over here, but there was also a chocolate stand over here. Like, there was, like, the one place to buy manga here, but then it would be, like, four rows of people selling the exact same Gunpla. There was, like, a bunch of people selling, like, shitty plushies that n no one did, a lot of, like, little figurines, and then the entirety of the artist alley which most of the artists in the artist alley weren't even drawing anime stuff. That was weird. It was like, it wasn't even like anime stuff. You want to know what I saw a lot of? You want it like, you want to know what, uh, you, you want to know what a lot of stuff was there? A lot of 5e stuff. A weird amount of D20. A lot of like, like, oh, it's dice games and stuff. There was two furry stands, thank you very much. There were two of them. Uh, it was a lot of D20, a lot of Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Oh, how to be a cool GM and stuff. I was really fucking miserable. Because the thing is, it wasn't like, here's a, t like a tabletop game thing. It was very specifically like how to be a good dungeon master and things like that. And it was like, how it wasn't even like anime branded. That was the worst part. It wasn't even anime branded. It was literally like fantasy brand. It was like Misty Mountain Games or something was there and they were selling like $60 dice sets. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? I, and there were, it wasn't just like one stand. There were like, Five, five fucking stands of just little D20 stuff spread around or people selling health potions and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I was so sad. And then I actually found, here's the thing. You want to know, this is, this is it. So I'm walking by and I see this booth, little tiny, little tiny booth shoved in the corner. And... They got a sign up here and they have a sign here and it's a new tabletop game. It was a new tabletop game. And I obviously was like, oh boy, I'm pogging out. Looky here, it's another tabletop game. Now I want to I want you to, to note this real fast. I want you to know this real fast. There were, this was not an anime tabletop game this was not anime not at all but i was just happy that there was a tabletop dev there but i was misled i was 
I was flummoxed. I was fooled. I was made a fool of. Now, you may be wondering, Notepad, how were you made a fool of? What what happened? What 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 occurred? Uh, I was here. The Deepman files, they were here. I want to find out more. <laughs> Like what? No, no, don't do this to me. You can't do that. Like you can't cuck me this way. And I felt so, so tired when I saw that. I was like, oh, come on. You can't do this to me. Uh, They apparently have another one. This is it. They have a new game. They were promoting this. It was a time loop RPG, but it's also a Powered by the Apocalypse game. I want you to know that I felt like I was crushed. I was emotionally destroyed. And it's, again, it's not like it's even anime. It's not even anime related. I think that was the worst part. That was the part that I was just broken for the entire time. It wasn't even anime related. And it, I, I it, it was, you know, it, it. This was me. This is a, this is a very accurate description of what I was doing internally. Just, just screaming. It was, it was screaming internally. I I was so, so sad. And I, I was like, oh, it can't be any worse, right? It cannot possibly be any bad. Did you, did you had to ask or did you read it? Uh, I actually asked her. I went up to her because the thing is like they had a little QR code thing and I scanned the QR code and I knew it was PBTA. But I approached her because there was a there was a sliver of hope that I'm like, hey, hey, it cannot possibly be another PBTA game. I'm like, oh hi, you know, I was a little busy earlier. You know, looked at this, looked kind of interesting. What's your game like? You know, what was your what was kind of like your game like and stuff? Being like, oh well, you know, this is it's a simplified version of our old one because we wanted to keep the healing mechanics down. I'm like, that's a cool idea. They hope to see it go and all that. And it was just like... I don't think people quite understand. I am very able to just fake it. It was kind of like... Because I went upstairs. Because upstairs they had like in the RPG room. And I'm like, oh boy, it's the RPG room. Now, to give you an idea of the RPG rooms. Because there were two rooms. And... Here I am, here, here, is, here is Notepad, standing on the precipice of darkness. Room 1. I see the largest man I have ever seen uh, talking with four other men in, in man buns. Everyone had a man bun. And on the table, I could see a Pathfinder 2nd Edition character sheet. And in the other one, in the other room, I saw the I, I saw the GM screen of uh, my of one, of, one of my favorite games of all time that we've talked about on the on the channel, uh, and a, a a woman standing there looking at the sheets. Uh, and it was my favorite game of all time of Avatar Legends. These were the two games being played today. Uh, and at that moment, I considered killing myself. I considered killing myself. Uh, because it, I had to enter the Avatar room or enter the Pathfinder room. There was no good option. The only thing I wanted to do was splatter my brains on the wall. I, it was, it was so over before it even began. 
that was my life. And I was immensely saddened, and I will never recover from this darkness. Uh, I talked to people about it. Like, it, it was just like, why did you have to end? Because I was curious. I was like, I, it was just one of those things where you're standing there, you just see it, you're like, I'm tired. I actually went into the Avatar room because I was curious more than anything. I thought she was the GM, but she wasn't. She just wanted to play. We, we talked a little bit about Avatar and stuff. But I was like, I was trying my best, doing my hardest to not be like, ah, fuck, it's PBTA. I mustered every single ounce of resolve I had to you know, put on that poker face. My poker, my po uh, ochre, po you know, poker face. I could have won a fucking championship with that thing of how I fucking put on the mask. I became God's silliest clown for an entire day. And I'm like, ow. And I was looking at the schedule for things. Like, let's, I'm curious. So, yeah, effectively, I had a taxi driver day. I'm gonna look at the schedule real fast. I'm not gonna pull up the schedule, but I just wanna, I, I'm just curious. I wanna, I wanna know. I'm, I'm very curious. I want to, to look at the, not the LARP room. Cause unfortunately on Saturday when I wanted to go, I couldn't actually go on Saturday. Here's the thing, I could not actually go on Saturday because I had to play Pathfinder 2nd Edition with my friends. And I didn't want to play Pathfinder 2nd Edition with my friends. I wanted to go there because there was actually some cool panels, but I don't get to have fun. So, to give you an idea of what was being played, uh, there was some Battletech, Pathfinder 2e, Battletech, Pathfinder 2e, Avatar Legends, Mothership, Mothership, Avatar, Mothership, Pathfinder, Pathfinder, Pathfinder. And in the other, Path Avatar, Deadlands, 5e, the Final Fantasy XIV TRPG. Yes, the Final Fantasy XIV TRPG was there. And then it was 5e, 5e, Avatar Legends, and Sunbur uh, Suburban Tales of the Arcane Realms. Th this was apparently being played. Um, you can really tell that this is being there when it doesn't pop up on a Google search. Uh, yeah, I was like, C -c -c cool. What was being played on Saturday, though? Let let's see, what was being played on Saturday? Let's go to the RPG panel. Let's, uh, Avatar, Avatar, 5e, Mothership, Starfinder, Starfinder, 5e, Final Fantasy XIV, Mothership Avatar, and Mothership Avatar 2E, 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 Avatar Exalted. Now, I want you to know this. I want you to know that this is spelled like this. Exalted. They misspelled it. I want you to know that they misspelled it, but 5e, some Deadlands, Monster of the Week, 5e, Battletech, I was like, oh. Yeah, no, it was, I was having a, um, I was having a, an, an emotional response. I was having a... Uh, an emotional response where I wanted to uh, shoot myself. That was a pretty good one. I've seen them play Exalted. Every year it is the exact same guy who plays it. I've been going to this con for, since I moved here about five, five, six years ago. I've been going to this exact same con convention. It is the same guy who runs the same adventure. And it wasn't even 3E. He ran it in 2E. He ran it in... E. I think he's running it in 3E now. Uh, and it is... From from what I saw once, it is a much looser variant of Exalted. Which, out of anything, playing Exalted is at least somewhat anime. So, that's cool. We're trying. 
I, I, it was just like, man, man, I was just tired. Honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed. Again, I'm sad I couldn't find the Final Fantasy 14 RPG. No anime 5e though. No, no anime 5e. Just 5e. We can't have fun. We, we can't risk people having fun. Uh, let's see. So important. No. Okay, so base classes are mm, the three knight classes. Three knight classes and the four cavalry classes. Mm. Let's see. Right into the three knight, three knight, and four cavalry. The base classes. So we have Archer, Lancer, Saber. Let's we'll change that. Uh, we'll change that. This. So, uh, mm, mm, I'm going to sub out Billy the Kid because Billy the Kid doesn't count anymore because he's technically Gunner because Gunner is a fucking different one at this point um ah uh, yes Paris no <laughs> no we are not doing that I am not doing this absolutely not give me an archer class let's see what's some good what are some good archer classes give me mm. Gilgamesh, Robin Hood. Nope. Uh, Tristan, no. Nope. Odin Nobunaga, technically. Nikola Tesla does count as that. Uh, Fuji. No. Just give me a Chiron. Give me something to work with here, people. No. Of course, no name. Hi, Archer. How you doing? Because again, it's weird when you realize that techni technically speaking, I guess David. You know, David, the king of Israel. Okay, we're just gonna go with. We're we're just gonna go with. This. Because the thing is, this is the this is the stupid thing. They ran out of ideas. This is important to know. They ran out of ideas at one point. And by that I mean that they ran out of ideas. Is there is technically gunners now. The gunner class is a subclass of archer. That's the weird thing. It is a subclass of an archer. Which Anyone who has a gun technically qualifies as this and not an archer. Why does this exist? I don't know. They just do. So I'm going to do this. So Gilgamesh, Robin Hood, Napoleon Bonaparte. Technically, Napoleon shouldn't be there, but fuck it. We're... You are empty. No, you, you... <laughs> literally account suspended or deactivated. Like, legitimately within, like, a second. That is, that is very, you, you have accomplished something. Good job. 
a Lancer. Mm. 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 Particularly lucky. Vlad the Impaler. Vlad the Impaler. Kuku Chuhulen. And Elizabeth Bathory. You know, Elizabeth Bathory. Why does she class as an. Why is she classed as a Lancer? Literally because she's unlucky. That is. Like. No. Mm. Mm. King Arthur, Charlemagne, Nero, Claudius, Claudia, Claudia, Claudius, Caesar. Hail to Kaiser. Mm. Let's see. Do we got a fun? Give me a fun saber, everyone. It's going to be a fun saber. Uh. Here we go. There we go. Mm. Then fucking power gap. Let me see. Archer, Lance, Saber. And then it'd be Rider, Caster. And then it's Rider, Caster, Assassin, Assassin, Berserk, Berserker. Because, yeah, wait, does Archer count as a knight class? Uh, yeah, it's one of three knight classes. There we go. Which is weird that being a writer whom a lot of now mind you the the writer who is a lot of the time a knight does not cl classify as a knight why because fuck you that's why mm. Mm. Ew. Ew. Mm. Actually, no, let's do this. Mm. Mm. Go, uh, maintain the mobility of their mount. Mm. 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 Assassin. Mm. 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 Uh, strikes fast and mm. for their sanity so technically mm, Alexander the Great Astolfo and Francis and Francis Drake Francis Francis not Francis Francis Drake and you know and red hair the actual horse 
Shakespeare, Solomon, Merlin, uh, You couldn't give another look at it. fucking goddamn. Um, goddamn. Uh, oh, Sherlock Holmes does count as an assassin. Mm -hmm. Cleopatra, Hassan, Hassan. Uh, Sabal. Mm. Mm. Insert footnote. Uh, mm. Is the is the only assassin is the only assassin class servant? This has been retroactively changed. There we go. It just works. Uh, and we do. Um, mm, mm. We add another footnote. Zerker. Mm. Mm. Every single. Mm. Okay. All right, out. <laughs> now this is where things get weird. <laughs> this is a rework of Lonely Dance or a separate... This is the thing that spawned Lonely Dance. That's the thing, you gotta remember. This is our... This is the thing that spawned Lonely Dance. Uh, unironically, here's here's the fucked up. Here's you want to know what the fucked up thing is, Wagger. Here's the here's the fucked up thing. Panic and Duong, which I'm working on, by the way, behind the scenes. It's gonna be a bit a bit of a weird week. Well, Panic and Duong, unironically, has a bunch of things in it that I can steal to make that a lot better. In addition to the Fortissimo RPG, I don't think I would remake. Lonely Dance perfectly, I think I would have to remake the game in its entirety as a completely different game. Because now I kind of know what I'm doing. Uh... Mm. Mm. And... Mm. Mm -hmm. Core one, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are not mentioned inside Fate Stay Night. They are not mentioned inside Fate Stay Night or Fate Zero. 
They're not mentioned inside Fate Stay Night or Fate Zero, but Fate Hollow Atrexia. Fate Hollow... Mm. It's Hollow Atrexia, right? I always gotta search Bazet. I always gotta remember it's uh, Hollow, At Hollow Atrexia. At At Atraxia. Feels like I'm gar garg what fight fade hollow atraxia. Uh, including mm. 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 Play the slot machine and gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so we've got a few of these. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. We've got a few of these to worry about, so we're going to do... I'm going to use these three. So, we have Shielder. Shielder, that's a, that's a Gunner. Avenger. Ruler. We have Ruler. Uh, Moon Cancer, Alter Ego, mm, Foreigner, uh, Foreigner, if I remember correctly, there's also, I think there's some new ones, now. um, yeah, there's Alter Ego, Moon Cancer, Shielder, Beast, Saver, Gatekeeper, Faker, Watcher, Pretender, Voyager. So, Beast class. So, we would have Beast, Saver, Saver, Gatekeeper, a just in strange fake. Uh, we don't need to worry about that one. Um, mm, don't really need to worry about Faker. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Don't forget, there's a giant sky whale. Yeah, there's a giant sky whale. I'm going to put the giant sky whale in here. Mm. Uh, pretender, an extra... <laughs> mm. I mean, let's see. Ah, yes. Auburn. I guess we would need to learn about Pretender. So I guess we would have to put in Pretender and then Voyager, which is Yeah, which is after Holy Grail War. Yes. Uh <laughs> In space. It's the Voyager one. It's the Voyager one, everyone. Man, uh, the, the, the fucking thing is the Voyager one. Okay, so. <laughs> this is where things start getting a bit bizarre. And why we need to add more shit to this. Because there's a lot of things you have to talk about. Uh, let's see. Mm hmm. 
Fences, and these would of course be Achilles, Leonidas, Ajax, and Galahad, and Galahad, uh, which would lead to Gunners. Mm. Mm. Order B, Saver, Pretender, Void. Gunner, uh... The ultimate game changer, a gun, uh... <laughs> Billy the Kid. Uh, if <laughs> certain assassins technically would also qualify there. Avenger. Avengers, kind of a fucking yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, Fate Hollow Trexia. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. Avengers, there's less of a servant and more the Grail's evil made manifest. Cause yeah, you gotta remember that. That's that's a thing. That that's a that's a canon thing to worry about. Mm. 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 Go Avengers uh, and Medantes. Yes, technically, Edmund Dantes. You know, Edmund Dantes, the Mon Count of Monte Cristo, is technically a uh, yes. Ed 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 Edmund Dantes is technically a hero in Fate Grand Order. Uh, because that's a thing that occurs, and that's just something you have to understand and just accept. Ortiz Mobile equals fate. Makes sense to me. Carl Sagan is a voyager. <laughs> Global IT issues brick my work machine, so I'm sitting read J Dragon's director's note commentary on Wander Home. I feel I feel bad for you. Uh Oh, right there. Okay, so we've got Ruler, Arbiter of the... Mm, mm, Arbiters of the Holy Grail War of the Grail War. Maintain the balance of power as well. Intervening in case of rules violations. Mmm... Yeah, Robert E. Lee does technically count as a uh, as a as a ruler. Uh, mm. Mm. There we go. The single person says that they should have a ruler. A uh, moon cancer. Uh. Mm. 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 
to. Yeah, there is exactly one person. It's BB. BB can can manifest as moon cancer. No one else can. Alter ego. Uh. Mm. Pieces of the uh pieces of uh, other servants are split off and become their own entities. Mm. Uh, become their own entities. Mm. Uh, let's see. Mm. It would be the uh, tale, the tales of Tamano, Tama, Tamonome, Tamamone, tales of. Mm. Uh, mm. Mm. There we go. So, Tales of Tonomis, Sion, Kiara. This brings us to Foreigner. Mm. Uh, individuals, individuals who made contact with and made a contract with beings outside of the human or human order. You know, Abigail, Abigail Williams. Typhon, Typhon, uh, Katsu, Shika, Hokusai, uh, technically. Yep. Okay, so this is where things start getting a little bit weird. Beast class. Go to Beast. Uh,. Mm. 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 Manifested evils of humanity, less of a class, and more the classification of beings outside the human order. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tiamat, uh, Tiamat, uh, Kamama, uh, mm. Uh, mm. Mm. Beast of six, 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 technically, um. Of course, Sodom's Beast or Draco. Mm. Saver. <laughs> What's the Saver class? Uh. Mm. Mm. Mm, yeah, it's technically Kiara would count, but that's not, we're not talking about that because she's also that. Yeah, it's Buddha. It's Buddha. You want to play Buddha? Mm. Let's see. Uh... Mm. 
to actual fucking Buddha. <laughs> Probably Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, we're 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 looking at like yeah you are I, 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 hey no proud I want to play saber no let's see global uh maybe second to Hannibal my condolences tie him up God has a demigod so he counts right I'll admit it's interesting how how about be Sodom Cyclops the lasers Magneto's tape. How do you balance Lily God as a class? You don't. That's the funny part, Horus. Saver literally just fucks off at one point because he has the ability to instantly win every fight. And he just says, nah, I don't feel like being here anymore. And he literally fades away. He's like, nah, Lamau. Yeah, it's like, oh boy, look everyone, it's the Beast of Sodom. Do you want to fight the Beast of Sodom? who is also a saber clone and is also the whore of babylon you know the whore of babylon but don't worry the entire point is that it's nero claudius i love <laughs> yeah uh Le legitimately speaking, nothing can beat him. He just doesn't give a shit. <laughs> man, isn't it... Man, isn't it kind of bullshit that you have the ability to just immediately win? Yeah, it's kind of bullshit you have the way to just win. Uh, mm, let's see. Mm. 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 To find... Mm. Watcher, less of a real class and more of a manifestation of find a potential servant of the world. Jesus fucking Christ. Place you want to heal you. Oh, Angel Wings was named Peter and wanted to go around healing the gay out of other NPCs or NPCs. There's Anger Manu too. Like the thing with Anger, like Anger Mayu. Like the thing with with Anger Mayu. That's the thing with that. Is that technically that's Avenger. The problem is Avenger is weird. Uh and what you may be like, why is it like why is Avenger weird? Because Avenger technically is all of the summation of the world's evil in a single dude who became a servant and says and really hates people. Uh, the problem is, he's also the Holy Grail. <laughs> the, the, su surprise, he's also the Holy Grail. Uh, let's see. Mm. Yeah, Z Zoro would become like... Mm. Yeah, this is where things get weird. Uh... Mm. Yeah, like it's a faker class. Mm. Let's see if I remember. Mm. 
Mm. It just works, okay? Uh, so let's see. Mm. So we're just, we're gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna look at all of these. So ah yes no. Lady Avalon, uh, technically it's Merlin. Uh, oh, okay. Merlin. Uh. Mm. Nope. Typhon, uh, nope. Lawn, because yes, this is Tenectalon. Of course, Tenectalon famously. <laughs> ah, yes, famously, my fashionista fucking princess, of course. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to find all the other ones. Oberon. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Mm. No, Vorte, Vortigern, you see Oberon, uh, that we Voyager. Mm. Mm. <laughs> they made it a fucking boy. <laughs> they made it a Voyager. Yes, they they made it a Voyager, everyone. Because again, we're living in clown society. Yes, here's Voyager. You know, Voyager, which is also technically a technically it's a foreigner. But we're looking at Fate Requiem, but Fate Requiem's fucking weird. Because that's after the Holy Grail world, yeah. And then there's the Fifth Fuki War. We don't talk about the Fifth Fuki War. And it's summoned by this girl because she's the main character of fucking Fate Requiem, which is a completely different book series. And here's the main fucking cast. It's She summons the Voyager probe. She summons the Fucking Voyager, bro. Man, I'm fucking tired. Like... Every GM has a, had a TPK, but how many wor total world kills are we good for? <laughs> See, the funny thing is 
a fate game would be one of the very few. Also, thank you very much, Bruno. Oh, man, you make me say Bruno Botel Botelho Botelho Bruno Bruno Bucciardi. Uh, thank you very much for following. Uh, the funny thing is when you realize that Gilgamesh can just tap a button and just evaporate everything. You're like, ah, oh, yes, of course. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, hi, Voyager. It's a fucking. He's the fucking space. They like they gave. <laughs> Contact with civilization of civilization erosion. So yeah. Best form currently suited for yeah. Hi Altera. Now everyone, I want you to look at this woman. I want you to look at this woman real fast. I want you to make a make a guess of who she is. Some of you may already know who this is. But who do you think this anime girl is with a rainbow fucking sword is? I want you to make a guess. I want you to make a goddamn guess of who this character could be. No looking up. No cheating now. This cheating is for squares and none of you are square. I'm going to give you a... The embodiment of capitalism. No, actually. Sorry, Spartan. You gave up everyone's one choice. This is Attila the fucking Hun. No, this is Attila the Hun. Because Attila the Hun in the Fate Universe. Uh, <laughs> yes, Attila the Hun in the Fate Universe is an alien who crashed down into the steps, became a conquering death machine, and then fucked off back to space. Yes, she is uh, better known in history as Attila the Hun. Yeah, her name is Altera. Uh, she's got a... Don't worry, she also has a child variant. God help us all if we don't have the child variant. Uh, and yeah, no, she is... Uh, it's 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 all stupid. Every every single thing is stupid and fate. I hate fate. I hate, they made they made an actual goddamn space voyager a class and made him a Shona. <laughs> you make your own class. Well, going from core, no, but going off still into the case files of grand order, such as the case files. Mm -hmm. Mm, says Washer, Baker, and others. You want to add your own class, General and Engineer. Nothing's going to stop you. Oh, all right, so we have the class out of the way, and now we deal with what we can do. Six parameters. So we do six parameters. Mm. Mm. Phantasm. One's going to stop you. Phantasm. Mm. Approximations power. The rest approximation of these are the Let's see each ability, the each of the Looks at the approximations of mm, ranked from A plus 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 to E. But take note, but take note, even in East, East Strength Servant, 
Normally, sometimes, except when maybe, but perhaps, except when maybe, but perhaps. Let's see. Mm. A servant last. Uh, mm. Servant parameter three. Each of the bed. Looser and easier. Mm. And so this five. Mm. Abilities to fly. Uh, mm. Power of the North. Has a. Um, mm. uh, a little bit more room to design custom servants, however, they have their merits. If you're looking for a suit. Let's see. Hot fate is funny. Okay, so I can get it. Mating press. I miss Adam Cole's RPG first looks because it's three question structure. What's the game about? How's this game going to be mechanically? How are you awarded mechanically for playing the game? Yeah, like this is kind of like even just talking about this. Like this isn't even a game. This is like how do you even like attempt this kind of game? Because it's a very confusing mess to be honest. Who will uh these simplify? Mm -hmm. Allows you to have a room. Inevitably mm. mm. want to play with. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. Who will? If you want it very straightforward, who will win? Mm. Na, use the. Mm. Mm. 
Who loses to a better from servant? decent reasons to why and half decent reasons to why but what about shiro reality marble that's why yes because shiro's a normal guy who apparently has the ability to use a reality marble which is like a triple bullshit technique okay all right now to skills mm. Mm. All right, now we get skills. We have a little more fun collection of skills. They completely send everything into spiral power levels. Everything can technically be anything. Mm. Mm. Skill if it fits within the servant's history. So Leonidas could theoretically have a skill called unmovable. Or the battle against the Persians. In some cases, some classes would use a skill which get which give them to the servant even if they're breaking their character. Mm. <laughs> Save ride. Easy ride. Easy ride. Uh, caster. Acid. Berserker. Berserker. Ruler. Avenger. 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 Foreigner. Mm. Yo. Existence outside domain. A oh, divinity, you know, the divinity. Mm -hmm. Two. And two. Okay, so uh, let's see. Now this is let's create about villain building with skills. Oh, shit, or not? Because fuck me, there's a lot of goddamn skills. 
There's a lot of goddamn skills. Skills make the same parameters, additional level of presenting variable nature. EXE. Uh, EXE, so when creating a servant, whole cloth, you'll need to factor in their skills from their class and history to second. We make one. Now we deal with noble phantasms. Noble phantasms are funny. Noble phantasms. Because noble phantasms are your ultimate bullshit super techniques. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me... I think the main question would be more in the lines of why, though. It just works. That's the most important thing you gotta remember. It just works. Uh, let's see, how many... Uh, Definition. Mm. No two. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Oh, let's see. No two noble phantasms are the same. The multiple servants can have the same noble phantasm. Mm. Uh, hoo -hoo -len. Mm. Gay Borg. Then, uh, gay Borg. Mm. Some noble phantasms. Mm. Nor more mm. based on the individual, more based on the individual, mm. or more sounds as This there's a, there is mm. types exceptions theoretical. And much worse, and much worse, but uh, mm, to break down, to break it down in key concept, to break it down to some key concepts. Mm. Two. Break it down to some key concepts. Mm. Specific power. Specific power. Mm. Phantasms are noble. Phantasms are power. 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 Powerful. powerful but mm. but specific in their execution. A. Mm. Cut down it. Conduct an army. But no. Uh, mm. Little struggle to cut into a log. Hungry mm. 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 energy phantasm. Noble phantasms. Mm. Larger that are grander that are grander and more impressive. Uh, grander and more impressive take a lot more amount. To a lot more mana and energy to even to even attempt to even attempt anti every an anti everything forever ability uh anti everything forever mm. no phantasm is great but you may only get one shot at it mm. Mm, considerable power. No, considerable power. Building up considerable power. Da, 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 da. Mm. And uh, mm. Mm. let's 
see a soul, not a weapon. Uh, noble phantasm, phantasms mm, are not exclusively, not exclusively weapons. Not exclusively weapons. Uh, not exclusively weapon, not exclusively weapons. Some may be miraculous powers, some may be miraculous, miraculous powers. Or, uh, or items that can simply perform, perform, uh, mm, mm, such as rule break, such as rule breaker. Rule breaker is not actually that dangerous of a weapon. The problem is, rule breaker breaks the fucking rules of the entire setting, and it says, nuh uh, and. <laughs> And because it says, nuh-uh, it's allowed to do a lot more things than you would normally think. Because welcome to being a... So, mm, 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 Phantasms are telltale sign of who the user actually is. To keep in mind, so, noble phantasms are not supposed to be balanced. <laughs> Let's see, for every scholar, there's going to be a rule breaker or weaker MP. For every scholar, there's going to be a rule break. Weaker? Weaker? Uh, noble Phantasm, specialized. Specialized ability to fit within the servant's story rather than what is optimal. Alright, so it's a children directly summoned to Lantric, last servant, Empress Jing. Mm. 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 She is definitely waifu bait. Okay. We're gonna decide on canon. Mmm. Go. Temptation to have a canon servant is there, no doubt, popular for those who know the series. Feel free to let them do that, and always remember they are summon are uh, summon R in aspect. Here, we seen Fate Zero. Mm. Is the series King variety of King Arthur? Well, if go, if they go, addresses for Lancer variation as being a divine king. Oh, uh, well, Saber Lily, another fucking variation, is the useful just through the sword version of Artorian. Isn't it factoring in the male version of Arthur, uh, which can also... Mm, mm, all three of the above. Short, go nuts, but have them understand this is not Shiro's Saber, it's their Saber. Mmm... Now 
we go. We'll get this section done at the end of here. Mm. So let's see. Sorry if I'm not responding to anything. Just works. Little lies, studying shows, people buy, money flows. Rewriting with 16 times the detail. Pretty much, baby. 200 times the detail. You can visit every planet. Call me Todd Howard, baby. Uh, let's see. Mm, Nautilus power resource. Sometimes need something more. Yeah, they needed some extra hands. They need. Mm, mm, this is where others, uh, others come in. The catch-all term for those who aren't servants or masters, but are participating in the world the same. Men and women may be allies of the master or members of the fa members of their faction, regardless of circumstances. Mm. Uh, or members of the faction. Yeah. Regardless of the circumstances, these alternative alternative characters uh, should should be power wise, power wise, roughly equal near you with master in terms of value, lacking the essential oomph to make them a master, make them the master over them. Hmm. Hmm. Essential oomph. Read, read magic circuits, circuits to make them a mass to make them the master. An example of these would be Mahisa Maya Hisu from Fate Zero, Kitsuraga's so assistant and soldier. Ultimately, the majority of the relationships between the others and masters, assistants, aides, or companions, and little else. They have to be reached with interfaction relations. Uh, ultimately, employing others. Mm, there may be uh, mm, more depth to be reached with interfactional relations, but ultimately employing others in the campaign is making them a side character. But employing other, making them a side character to the master servant. Uh, master dynamic. Uh, dynamic. This is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing and should not be regarded as arguably good for the pace of the story to continue. Uh, these other characters can provide all the reason to bring the players who are master servant. Uh, bring in player, bring in players who's master servant. Mm. Mm, had die uh, who either by exterior assistance or faction thing. Another to is a a and other. Mm. Mm. Antagonists, mm. villains, and waifus that are trying to kill you. Mm. Glory's battle royale would be very exciting without a Mises fight or other hero. Other heroes enter heroic cockfights with. However, uh, the antagonist, mm. the fate of a fate game, or of a fate. Mm. Some of the strain. Bro, cockfights with the. Uh, let's see. Campaign is. Mm. Let's pull all. Let's mm, as many. Mm. Mm. Over when they are all defeated. When the, when they are when they are all defeated, very few the few number the few number of them. Overall, overall, there won't be a ton of ton of serious threats. 
unlike unlike other game other un, other games that have a constant set a uh, constant uh, mm, mm, antagonist Who's for shopping? Okay. <laughs> we go all the way back here. Generally speaking, we didn't get too much done, but we got work done. And let's go. Hey, Chad, I'm starting a magical girl TTRPG, and I have this rule every one time you transfer, you save catchphrase and strike a pose in real life. I won't play the game anymore. <laughs> Any advice on getting better friends? Uh, just get people who are uh, weebs, <laughs> honestly. But, uh, oh, God, right? So, let's see. We are, we are here. No, we don't need you. Uh, definitely don't. Yeah, like, you are now in the power of Stardust. Uh, yeah, no, we, we've got a few few different pieces throughout here uh, for various reasons. Oh, goodbye, Manly. Goodbye, Momiji. Yo... But yeah, no, we are here. We've got a lot of stuff to worry about. And I'm going to try to get rid of some of these images, actually, while I'm here. Actually, you know, let's get rid of it right now. Be redoing some things. We don't need to do anymore. But yeah, now, like, there's still some stuff to do and still some things to be written. But we're going to worry about that at a later time. Or Magical Girl fans. Well, you know what time it is, everyone. Let's, uh... Let's try to get that... Let, let's try to get that sweet adrenaline rush to keep me going. Without it, I am a, a fucking husk of a man. Oh, God. Everyone's very busy. Very busy today. We've got numbers across the board. We got some good tea in the system. Speaking about VTubers, I actually had gamer subs today. Gamer subs suck. Gonna be honest with you. There's my there's my decisive opinion. Gamer subs suck. It tastes like shitty watered down Gatorade. I don't get it. It tastes like watered down Gatorade. I had it. I had the Shy Lily one. I'm like, I see the Womp Womp whale thing. I was like, this is going to taste good. It tasted like Gatorade. It, takes, it tasted like 7-Eleven Gatorade. Unironically. Like, they had like a little fountain thing. Like, like you had to like do that. I'm like, this is 7-Eleven Gatorade. I'm like I don't get the appeal. Like the, like I could I could literally go down to my local 7-Eleven fist fight like one of the homeless guys down there. And it would just be the same thing. I was like that's over. There's my objective opinion. Gamer subs suck. They're terrible. And in no way should you send me gamer subs to change my mind. Or a sponsorship to change my mind. Yeah. Or we can do a real flavor. 
which is just going to be called a misery, and it's just going to be a shotgun shoved in my mouth. Yeah, come on, gamer subs. Prove me wrong by giving me a sponsorship. Gonna this this is how we this is how we get sponsorships, boys. We uh we gaslight gatekeep girl boss. Ah, there's not there's not a lot of people out tonight, is there? I guess it is Sunday night at Olio. I, I guess it is a Sunday night at one in the morning. So I guess that would you know hamper some. Uh, that would that would ha hamper some some viewer numbers here. We we've got. I could I could harass this woman. Do we harass this woman? I think we should. She's been streaming eight fucking hours. Okay, no. Like, I don't think I can do that to her. I don't think I can do that. She's been streaming eight hours of Guilty Year Strive. That's already torture enough. Mm, who... Why would I ever want to torture another person by <laughs> forcing them to play Guilty Gear Strive? <laughs> Already the most cursed existence available. Like... Who the fuck are you? No one is here. It's fucking over. I'm tired. Not an anime woman. What's the fucking point then, Spartan? It's over. Uh-huh. 